Hey guys, sorry it's been a while. Um, you may have seen in my last video that I've been traveling around it a little bit recently. Um, I left my job and my house, which was part of my job, and we've been traveling around a little bit around Ireland, England and Wales with my sister. And for the last month I haven't had any internet at all. Um, so I've just got a new job and I've just got a brand new corset which was my belated birthday present for my boyfriend. My birthday was actually in February but it just arrived so it was custom made just for me although I've put on weight and now it's too small. <laughs> um, so to celebrate I thought I'd do a look to go with it. So what I've done as you can see it's green and I wanted to go with something that sort of was opposite so I've gone for copper eyes. Let me just lean in so you can see. Nice and sparkly copper eyes. I've used um, Fancy Smanchy by Heavenly Natural Beauties in a bit of Max Reflect and Bronze across my lid. And then I've used a little bit of Chartreuse and Jade by Ben Nye just on my lower lash line in green just to bring out the green a little bit. So I hope you like it and I'll show you how it's done. Bye! Now first of all I'm going to use a wee trick that I learned a wee while ago from purse buzz and all I'm doing is taking my primer which is um, Urban, sorry not Urban Decay, um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I'm taking the pigment that I want to use, the end of a brush, I'm just scooping up a little bit on the end of my brush and I'm actually mixing that in with my primer to make a primer that is a similar colour to my eye makeup. The colour that I'm going to use, that's just going to make it pop that little bit more. And now I'm taking that primer that I made, I'm just going to put that across my eye, just past the socket. And just past the crease to smooth it out a little bit. You can use your finger if you want to. I'm using my MAC 230 brush and I'm di dipping it in the same pigment which is Fancy Smancy by Heavenly Natural Beauty. Taking off the excess in the lid. I'm just going to press that on over top. Hopefully you can see how bright the colour is, it's a really, really intense colour. And using it mixed in with your primer just makes it all the more vibrant. So now I'm just taking a fluff brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges so that they're nice and smooth and no harsh lines. Wipe that brush off a little bit and I'm using the same brush really well wiped off just to apply my prime my um, highlight and the highlight I'm using is Mary Kay I forget what the name is because I dropped it and it broke out of the palette so I just put it in a little jar but it's just a nice wee cream colored highlight with a very light sheen to it I'm just applying that along my brow bone So you can just leave it like that if you can see or if you want to you can use just a matte colour. I'm using this colour here, it's a really light matte colour, it's almost my skin tone, it's just a few shades darker. It's just by Sleek. And I'm just going to rub that into my crease and just blend it out a little bit. Now. I forget what this is called because I got it in a sample size from Stars Makeup Haven and it doesn't have a label on it, but I will find out for you and I'll post a link in the side. Um, it's just, it's MAC and it's just a gel that is really great for helping to apply glitters and pigments to your skin. So I'm just dabbing a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm just taking a finger and just dabbing it across my lid. I'm taking MAC Reflex Bronze. I'm just getting the reflex from the lid because there's plenty on there you don't need much at all and then I'm just tapping that across 
and that's just giving it a great, great sparkling shine. Now I'm using my liquid liner and I'm just using the Revlon Color Stay. I'm just going to line my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go away and I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara and then put on some falsies. Okay, so I've got my falsies all on. Make sure you squish them together so that they blend better. And if you've got any glue showing, just take your liner and just go over it again. Now, I am taking my 266, which is just a MAC angle brush. And I'm taking a mid, uh, I'm going to take a little bit of Chartreuse by Ben Nye and a little bit of Jade. And I'm going to put the Chartreuse in the inner corner of my eye. Because it's a little bit lighter. That's just going to keep the eyes looking a little bit more open. Not too much. And then I'm just using the jade. And I'm drawing it up underneath my eyeliner a little bit. Not too, too much though. Now for my cheeks, I'm just using a little bit of blusher and this is Revlon's Golden Affair just on the apples of my cheeks. And for my lips, I'm just using Ben Nye Lip Pencil. And it's quite a dark colour, so I don't want to go for a really dark red because I've really got dark eyes and I would normally have this type of look. And you can use your finger or a brush or even a Q-tip just to blend it out a little bit. Now I'm just using a little bit of Vaseline. And I'm taking just a little bit of Azalea, which is this great hot, hot pink colour from the Ben Nye. I'm just going to put that right in the center. And that is pretty much it. I hope you liked it. Bye.